Hi. Today is uh, August 24th, 2011. I'd like to read a passage of scripture for you from Matthew, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 24. Jesus' disciples were asking him about the end of the age and when he would come and establish his kingdom. And he said this, Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Jesus uh, went on to give what is called the Olivet Discourse in Matthew chapter 24 and 25. And many uh, Bible scholars, quote unquote, will tell you or try to convince you that those things that he talked about in those chapters are things that happened in history, the things that were allegorical, the things that we really can't just grab a hold of. They were, you know, spiritual things that weren't really dealing with prophetic. But I believe that Jesus was giving a prophecy of the end times. And uh, just yesterday, for those of us who live on the East Coast, there was a, an earthquake, a 5.8 magnitude earthquake centered in Virginia, just south west of Washington, D.C. And while the geologists say there are many, many earthquakes that happen in this area that are not felt, that's the first one in my 57 years that was significant in this area. I live in the Pittsburgh area, which is just a few hundred miles from where that uh, earthquake took place. I did not feel it. There were other people who live in my town that did feel it. So I guess it depended on where you were, but we did not feel it. But they certainly felt it in New York and Baltimore and Washington, D.C. and all up and down the East Coast. They felt this earthquake. There was some minor damage in the Pittsburgh area. Some, some bricks fell out of chimneys and some things, uh, some minor damage. But could you just imagine if that earthquake had been maybe a 6.8 uh, they say on the East Coast, earthquakes are more widely felt because of the way the, the, uh, the ground is, the way the, the soil is, I guess, that it transmits that energy a lot easier than it does on the, uh, on the West Coast. I know a lot of people are just saying, well, that's just an act of nature and so forth, but I'm here to tell you, and I'm, I'm here to say this, that I believe that God is sending warning signals and has been for a long time. The further and further this nation gets away from God, the more and more those signals are going to be coming and they're going to be coming closer and they're going to be hitting home. Now they're, they're hitting around our nation's capital. The capital of our nation, Washington, D.C., that was designed by Freemasons, they built an obelisk there called the Washington Monument. I understand there was some damage done to that. I had not heard that uh, detail, but God is trying to wake up a nation that has turned its back on him. A nation that has turned its back not only on God, but has turned its back and is turning its back on the nation of Israel. I know a lot of people will scoff and laugh and say, ah, oh, you're just making a lot of much to do about nothing. But I'm here to tell you, you better get things right with God. Because things are going to get worse. Economically, we've had economic earthquakes in, in these last couple of years that mankind has not been able to, to deal with. We have a Marxist president who despises the gospel. Oh, he pretends, he, he, uh, he uses the name of Jesus and he claims to believe in Jesus. He doesn't believe in any God, he's a Marxist. Marxists don't believe in God. Christians, you need to be ready for what's coming upon this nation. 
You need to be ready for the shaking and the disaster. I'm talking about before the tribulation period. I know a lot of people believe that, uh, you know, we're going to get raptured out of here and then things are going to start happening. Things are going to get a whole lot worse before that trumpet sounds. Now, I believe in the pre-tribulation rapture. That's something that I adhere to. The things we're seeing today are just the beginning of sorrows. And it's going to get worse. If you're a Christian, you need to start living holy. You need to start living right. If you're not a believer in Jesus, you need to seriously consider the claims that Jesus made. Read Matthew chapter 24 and 25. Read what he has to say about his return. It's not going to be pretty. He's not coming back as a babe in a manger that everybody can kind of cuddle and coo. He's coming back as a conquering king. I, I highly recommend that you get on his side. Ask Jesus Christ to be your savior. Put your faith and trust in his shed blood for the forgiveness of your sins. Confess your sins to him. You'll be crushed like this fly that's flying around. <laughs> Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved. God bless you. Have a good day.